good morning it's a soybean man I'm back at you again I've got uh, I got the soybean lady with me how are you Sharon okay good good anyway we're off on a project this morning for uh, it's gonna be our one of our entries our entry into uh, the pet and hobby show parade in Dresden the Kinsmen always have a pet and hobby show parade, and this year, I don't, do I need a mask on in here? I guess not. This year, because of uh, the pandemic, they're having a virtual, is it virtual or viral? Virtual? virtual. A virtual pet and hobby show parade. And where we're off to this morning, I'm going back to, uh, oh, this is Beaver Meadow Stables here in Beaver Meadow, Ontario, which is in the southern tip of Lambton County, and we are going to have a little parade, a mini parade. Would you call it a mini parade? Is it? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it's a mini parade, and uh, they're already out. Uh, every Saturday morning, they take these horses out for a little tour, and here they are. What's your horse's name? Harry. Harry? Yeah. Harry. Do you, you want to ride with Harry? Yeah. Sure. Anyway, the cows are out eating, Dennis. They look happy. They're right up to their ears and hay. Yeah. Oh. Almost out there with them. Oh, there he is. Anyway, I've got uh, Dennis Robinson here this morning. Dennis is the, the uh, what do you call yourself, Dennis? The CEO. CEO of Beaver Meadow. Beaver Meadow Stables. Founded in 2007. Started out with Hopflinger horses, and uh, we have one Hopflinger left. He's following us here with my granddaughter driving him. We've got a pair of Percher and Morgan mares, Holly and Miss. We're on the business end, I guess you call this the business end. Yes. Well, this just come to me this morning, Dennis. I was cleaning out the donkey pen and I thought, hey, we should have a little parade, a mini parade here on the Donovan Road. I guess we're, we're leading the parade. We are the parade marshals. <laughs> And the, there's the rest of the parade following us. And well, we're just trying to beat all the traffic on Mandalman Road. In sugar beet season, this road is the main highway to get the trucks through. To, oh, uh, park here. they got her fixed up pretty good. Yeah. They say there's some landowners at the south end that haven't come to terms with the county yet, so that's why it's not black top yet. Are they going to black top it? Eventually. Then the street will even pick up more. Yeah. It makes a good, good spot for you. All we need is a four-foot culvert, and we could go about five miles. Oh, there's that much lane? Yeah. When the pipeline went through, we uh, took a lot of the dirt to build a berm. And uh, he grooms it and keeps it in shape for us, so couldn't ask for better. It's perfect for you. Well, it gets you off the traffic. Better on the horses, too. We've got a pair of colts that are, they don't mind the traffic, but they see everything. So how many horses do you have? Five. Misty here on the right, she's just had a sleepover at her boyfriend, so we're expecting a colt next May 7 to 22, somewhere in that range. 
had a sleepover. Well, that's nice. I wonder, Dennis, while we're touring along here, admiring the wheat, nice wheat crop up here this year. It, it, uh, it, Tell us a little bit about your movie star horse. Uh, we've been uh, to the movies three times. Uh, first time we took a, a pair of pack mules to Murdoch Mysteries and uh, had a very interesting outing. Uh, Johnny uh, Harris. Harris was riding a small donkey and uh, had his legs wrapped right around the donkey and was tipping over and he says, I've fallen off. And I suggested to him that he just put his feet down and touch the ground and the donkey uh, walked right out from underneath him. So uh, he's still standing, which is a good thing. Uh, next one was we took a pair of Norwegian Fjord mares to uh, downsizing at uh, Milton and we're there for five days and uh, yeah, just a very interesting situation. Some days we'd have the uh, team ready for four to five hours before we'd get the call to to the camera. And the third one was uh, into uh, the Pioneer Village right in Toronto and took a pair of our black geldings and that was for uh, the miniseries, CBC miniseries uh, and yeah, pulled a stagecoach and uh, then after that, uh, somebody that I worked with on the set, he lost the horse and was very interested in our uh, geldings, which were Percher and Morgan Crosses and uh, had the title of Amos and Andy on them. And he ended up buying a wagon from us and the team. And uh, they are doing quite a bit of TV time with Murdoch Mysteries. So you had a few cameos, didn't you, Dennis? Yeah. We gotta wait for the. Sometimes when you're uh, parade marshal, we've got to watch the tail end of the parade, and it's just kind of catching up to us. I don't think they're gonna pass us, but <laughs> <laughs> here they come. This is a pretty picturesque uh, trail you've got here. This is just perfect. Uh oh. We got mud. We like mud. Keith Broadhead, a horse, would not get his feet wet. <laughs> and the back of the parade is just coming around. There they are, coming around the back bend. This is good for sleigh rides and well protected from the wind back in here, the bush and the trees. Uh, we've got wildlife back here too, turkeys and deer, and uh, that gets the horse's attention when the turkeys fly out, or a doe jumps up and takes off. Seems like there's a lot of turkeys around. Too many. To think that they started with a dozen and what we've got now. That's all they had? That's what they brought uh, from the southern states and released and the things have multiplied very well in Lampton and Kent County. There's thousands. And you can see at the edge of the, all the crops. That, yeah, they, they eat a lot. They get their fair share. Speak. Oh, those are uh, turkey buzzards. buzzards. Must be something in there of interest. This is what we have as the manicured area. The track goes. If we had the culvert, we could go in there and go in back. These got are nice. this dirt all come off the pipeline? The, the berm did, yeah. And then the extra we prepared as a pile of it. That's the wheat crop does look 
very good back here. Uh, certainly different than what it was last year. Very few acres made it, whereas this year everything caught and came along very well. So, a month from today, you'll likely be looking at stubble. It won't take long. Just how much it's matured in the last 10 days and headed out. To cover it last night, there was a frost warning, but what was your last night? Very close. Northern Ontario, definitely. 51 degrees when we got here this morning. So. There is just wheat everywhere you look up here. I have to believe those are North Rock King soybeans that you see emerging there. It has to be. That's the only brand around that I know of. I don't think there are any other dealers in this area. I think there's just the one, yeah. It's almost like a monopoly. And uh, some in this area just finished up last Friday planning. Well, there's a hundred on the corner down here, not playing. We had an early opportunity and then quite a bit of rain and then uh, people were quite patient and waited and planted last Friday and um, you can actually roll them yesterday so with the moisture we got and the heat it yeah. go well. And we're waiting for the end of the parade to come. We've got a great venue here today. Yeah. And I guess that's, that's the end of the parade there. So what have we got here, Dennis? Pinsgower uh, cattle are the red and whites and known for their white tail heads, uh, originated in Austria, beef and dairy. Uh, and uh, as much as people say Angus is the only thing, uh, we have won carcass classes with the Pinsgauer and the marbling and uh, uh, yield is equal if not exceeds Angus. But as you can see, we're combining the two and uh, making a hybrid. And that's Gus. Number 82. Gus. Gus, Gus. He's 15 months old and uh, out here, I guess, creating. Meeting the ladies. Yeah. And then uh, three of these were 4-H calves from last year that the kids used. Uh, well, I guess there's five first calf heifers, but there's their offspring, the number two and that. They were born uh, after Valentine's Day in February. And then we have one out here that looks like a coat rack. She has produced uh, three sets of twins and three singles. So uh, she puts everything into her calves. Keep her around. Yeah, and that is 17 and 18, uh, one of each, male and female. Huh. Twins are not real common in the beef industry, are they? Not a lot. Uh, Semitol more than any breed, but... Uh, for whatever reason, uh, she seems to delight in doing it. Maybe Gus will bring that forward. Yep. Gus looks very protective. And Quiet? Yeah, he is. Not bad. He likes his feed. Uh, you get in here and he likes to get close to you when you got the bucket. But uh, no, he's very docile. I got to see these little, there's a couple little ones over here. And we like the pulled end of it so that no horns to look after. So that's why we're crossing Angus. Some of the cow our cows are horned. Here's a little calf in here, Dennis. What number? 98 it looks like. 
100 each and so two the 100 and the 98 are first calf heifers and the well the bigger one that 100 and they go in there for their own treats rolled oats and some cracked corn Oh, Gus looks like he's having a good day. How long has he been in? He's been here uh, four weeks now, so oh, another yeah. two weeks and then he'll move on to another group. Yeah, he should have these pretty well settled by now. Yeah. <laughs> well, Dennis, thanks for the tour. I really enjoyed the ride. You're welcome, and uh, you know, congratulations to Dresden on doing the Hutton Hobby Show this way. Uh, as a kid, we participated, took ponies. Uh, the one year we had found a fawn and taken it, that was 50 plus years ago. So, hats off to you, and many more to you. Thanks, Dennis, and thanks for taking the time to. Uh, we're going to put this up on YouTube for anybody that views the video, and if you like it, give us a like. Um, and uh, continue to subscribe. And one thing that would be good, if you've got some uh, city cousins that you don't think are viewing our channel, forward our channel to them and let's... Kind of what I'm trying to do is get the uh, non-farming people to know more about agriculture. And I'm here in South Kent today, or South Lambton today, sorry. South Lambton. And uh, just forward that to them and that would be good. And thanks again.